Okay guys, today we are going to continue our uh, lecture on arrays, single dimension arrays. And we are going to go exactly over how to use uh, a nested loop for a single dimension array. We used in the previous uh, examples, we used a uh, single loop. Today we are going to see the need for another extra loop when I am dealing with uh, a single dimension array and this example is going to be rearranging an array in an ascending or descending order for example let's say we have an array this is a comment okay I want to take a comment because the doesn't show that good let's say we have an array one four or let's put it four seven one twelve and five and let's say we need to rearrange this array in ascending or descending order let's say uh, descending so it's gonna be from higher I'm gonna have twelve seven five four and one this is the output this is how the output supposed to be so we know what's what's this in the array in, in an array this is an array of size 5 this is array 0 this is array 1 array 2 array 3 array 4 so to rearrange this array in ascending or descending order we need to check the elements with each other which one is greater which one is smaller so I'll check what array 0 with array 1 depending on how I want it if I want it let's say uh, descending from higher I'll say if array 0 is less than array uh, 1 what do I do I switch or swipe them or change them so I'll have this remember each one we have to do it separately statement by statement then with the loop I'll have the 4 checking with the 1 no then I have the 1 checking with the 12 so what's gonna happen I'm gonna have 7 4 12 and 1 and 5 then I'm gonna check the 7 uh, the 1 and 5 those so it's gonna be 7 4 12 5 and 1 and this is when when I apply a single loop one loop of size 5 when I put it in a nested loop when I add another extra loop what will happen it will loop again so it will check 7 4 no uh, 4 and 12 so I'll have 7 and this is the let's say second uh, external or outer loop I'm going to have 7, 12, 4, 5, 1. And I'm going to have then 7, 12, 5, 4, and 1. Then the third external loop or outer loop, it's going to do a 12, 7, five four one those will be dealt by the inner loops those the inner loops will deal with them and all of it together the outer loop the outer loop that's why we are gonna need two loops that's why we're gonna need two loops and this so let's let's see let's say I have an integer my and let's give it a size of 10 and let's initiate uh, our numbers and let's put uh, 5 7 1 9 0 8 2 4 and 3 and how many numbers are those I'm missing the 6 yep and 6 and we need to what? 
reorganize this array in ascending or descending so i need a, a loop for integer usually when you're dealing with arrays you're gonna need a loop usually I've, i don't think i've ever used arrays without a loop and i plus plus and what are we gonna do we're gonna check we're gonna have a check if well my what did we say zero or my i i'm gonna compare what do you want it ascending or descending if i want it descending i'll put this my what am i gonna compare it with i plus one with the element next to it with the element next to it sorry so and let's do the body of this so if this is true what do we need to do swipe them how do i swipe the elements or change them i'll say well i'll declare a value temporary why is that why are we going to declare a value temporary because when i move the seven to the five I'm gonna lose the five so what I'll say here I'll have a temporary value or a placeholder or a holder or a storage to hold what the five temporary for just a minute until I move I'll move what T to temporary I'll move my I then I'll move to my I my I and move to it what uh, my I plus one the second number that I want to move so here you should have what here you'll have like seven seven and this in our case one nine zero and so on so now what do we need to do we need to bring what we put in temporary which we put the five in it I needed to bring it where here so I'll say what uh, my I plus one equals temporary and this is good so now this is in one this is the, this is why we're gonna need a nested loop. Let me show you the output. So I'll say for integer i equals zero, i is less than ten, i plus plus, and I'll do uh, c out. Okay, I'll do c out my i. And then do this. And here I do see uh, just to show us the array in a good manner. So this should be good. This is I'm just printing what the array. I really hate the comment here because look what it's, I tried to comment it just so let's build. We have an error expected a curly brace at end of input. Where do we need a curly brace? Where am I missing a curly brace? Okay, for this one. Now, this is what I like to put here. End of F. And this we can comment it. And end of 4. And this we can comment. So we can know where each curly brace ends at 
and now we do a build and run and here's what we get let's see I get seven five nine one eight two four three six zero so it took zero to the end but it didn't take what five it didn't take one so it's comparing only two so it took the five and seven compared them put the seven here the five here so I have seven five then what did it compare it compared 1 and 9. Move the 9 and 1. Then what did it do? 0 and 8. And it moved 8 and 0. Then it compared the 0 and 2. Moved the 2 and 0. Then it did the 4, uh, four uh, and, and 0. Moved the 0 and kept going <clears throat> now a really important thing here I put 10 and we should have it as 9 why because I don't want it to go to my I to the 9 is it less than my I plus 1 which is 10 10 is the element here in memory whatever that was if it was lower than 0 or whatever it's gonna be included so that might give you this won't give you a compile error. It will give you a wrong program. Wrong results. No errors. It will run. Remember, there's no boundary checking in uh, C++ or C. Java, they, they, uh, it will give you an error. It will give you an error. But in C++, it won't. But is the array organized? No. So what I need to do is add another loop integer j or equals zero j equals one whatever you want it as long as I as long as it loops uh, nine times at least at least because two numbers we don't need ten so j less than ten ten is not gonna harm here but it will add extra time one extra loop that's the only thing it will do so now let's check it again and you can see nine eight seven six five four three two one and zero and I was supposed to capture less than that I don't know I hate using this I couldn't change the uh, output screen to be bigger wider but let's do it again and here we go let's see resizing it doesn't change the text that's the problem I tried the setting I didn't find it but it should be there but anyway now if I wanted to organize it in a ascending I just change the greater than there and now okay we can't run it while it's and here we go zero zero one two see it took the nine out it took an extra number it took the nine out it took an extra number to solve this problem what we do is make it here nine why it took the uh, the element uh, my ten as zero my ten as zero see now problem solved zero one two three four I don't know if you can see it guys hopefully you can but here it is thank you guys if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section below remember guys C++ training you need to practice every day 
best thing for programming best thing best is practice every day you can go and three months during the summer you didn't do any practice come back and think you're gonna be as good as you were no way you need to practice it every day